Today, on the very first episode of Tasting Time, we're going to be trying one of my favorite restaurants in Montreal, Le Bar Saint-Denis. End of chit-chat, now it's tasting time. Now that we're inside, before we get to the food, this place is very famous for their delicious cocktails. Let's try a few. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh, that's really good. The mix, the balance of bitter and sour is perfect. Good way to start the party. What do we got? So, this is the BSD Vesper. Um, I know you're a fan of the Vesper. This I is am. Our version of that with the Bar Hill Gin, Cosmo, Vodka, Vermouth uh, Daniel de Rocher, and then there's uh, Anisette Honey Earl Grey Syrup, Citron Confit, and Ouzé Sanguin. Cocktails are the fucking bomb. Cheers. Now I'm hungry. Let's eat. All right. All right, chef. What do we got? Razor Clam Taboulé, our classic at BSD since day one. Uh, so that's it. You just take the clams. And shove it up my mouth? Shove it up your mouth. I like the sound of that. Thank you, chef. Easy enough. Mmm. Mm. This is so fucking good. You get a nice bright lemon acidity. You get the fresh parsley, the fresh mint. It's really a perfect, perfect way to start a meal. Mm. <laughs> Mm. All right, round two, baby, let's go. So, wild sea bass grab lax, uh, dulce mayonnaise, nori oil, crispy uh, rice. Bon appetit. Is it crispy? Very crispy. Mm -hmm. You tell me. <laughs> oh boy, it's crispy. <laughs> Thank you. Woo. Woo. Dish number two, striped sea bass. Let's try it. Oh, oh, oh. that's a big bite. Mm. Mm. Very good second course. The texture of the cured sea bass is very, very nice. The crispy rice on top makes it very interesting. And you would think the salty seaweed mayo would be too salty overall with the gravlax, but it just works perfectly. Very good. Mm. Boom. Falafel, tiny sauce, flatbread. Boom. A laminate, pistachio olives. Pistachio olives? Yes. Beautiful. Classic at BSD for a long time. These are classics. These are classics here. Oh, oh, Billy! Then I burn my face off with this one. Mmm. Mmm. So as you can see here. Lots of dishes are influenced by Middle Eastern countries because Emily, one of the co-owners, is part Egyptian. So that's why you have those beautiful falafel, you have the labne, because, you know, it's delicious, the flatbread, and honestly, no one does it better. Mm. I don't know why to give you a knife. I'll just go. Oh, look at that bread. Oh, shit. <laughs> I almost dropped it. So they bake the bread to order on the flat top. So have this very delicious, fresh flat bread. And we're just gonna go with the labne, pistachio, olives. Look at that. Oh. Mm. 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 
Mm. This is so good. The bread is crispy on the outside. There's stuff in the middle. And the acidity in the labneh. The salty of the olives. The earthiness of the pistachios. It just works together. Beautiful, beautiful dish. Mm. So if you go to any restaurants in general, if you come here or anywhere else, I can only recommend that you always get the wine pairing. Why? Because you can have the perfect wine for every single, every single course. If you get one bottle, well, you're stuck with it. Just get a different wine for every single course. That's how it's done, you know? Or just get a bottle like a loser, but you know, this is, this is the way. Cheers. Number, chicharron. number four? Yes, number four, chicharron, uh, shrimp, Nordic shrimp with uh, sour cream and onion. Beauty. Mercy. Mercy chef. <laughs> so that's crispy pork skin. Basically, it's, it's basically it's pork skin has been dried and fried to a beautiful crispy. Dried with a bunch of beautiful Nordic shrimps. Let's do this. Mm. 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 Very, very nice. The crispiness from the chicharron. You get a nice little sour from the sour cream, obviously. Nice little acidity. The mayo, it's like rich, yet acid, crispy. Beautiful, perfect meal. Mm. 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 Very good. Round number what? Number five? Number six? Where we are? Stop counting. Right. What we got, chef? Zamponi with lentil salad, ramps, uh, vinegar, and pickled ramps in the lentils. Wait, what is that? Uh, zampone, so it's like a deboned pig shank stuffed with cotechino, cook all together, sliced, pan fried. That's it. It's also white. Kali lansi, I like that. Let's do this. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a live reaction. <laughs> live reaction. Oh, perfect. It's amazing! Fucking Mmm. Mmm. This is so well balanced. The acidity of the pickle ramps comes and cut down the fattiness of the zamponi. It works perfectly. Delicious. Mmm. 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 All right, what's next, chef? So, we have monkfish wrapped in cabbage with granabrois sauce. Holy shit. Beautiful. Tastes like butter. In a good way. The only thing I can taste right now is butter and I'm not mad about it. I don't I don't eat monkfish often, but honestly, every time I do, I remember why I should eat some more because it's so good. It's like uh, the meatiest fish. I don't think it's like the meatiest fish of all the fish. Very beautiful texture. The cabbage wrap is very well done. You get a nice acidity coming from the capers and the lemon. Perfect dish. It's beautiful. Mm. 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 All right. All right. So piglet sausage, glazed maple syrup, turnip, and onions. Paragon. So they're like burnt onions? 
Yeah, burnt onions on top, tarragon, and the sausage slice, piglet sausage from Beau Rivage. Homemade sausage? Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. Bon appétit. Merci. Slice avec le navet comme ça. Et voilà. Beautiful. Thank you, chef. Oh, ho, ho. oh, Billy! <laughs> Good to go? Whoa! Hmm. Wow! The fattiness of the sausages, with the acidity from the onion, the earthiness from the from the turnip, it just works so well together. And the nice little freshness of tarragon on top. This is a banger fucking dish. Beautiful. Let's put that in the course. Oh, 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 Billy. Oh, oh Billy. <laughs> oh, Billy. Oh, Billy. <laughs> All right, what do we got, Chef? Again, on the, the last, menu. Last course? Last course, last course. All right, so on the menu since day one, dry aged pork, 30 days from uh, Ferme Beau Rivage. Beau Rivage. Sauce Rabar. So, sauce Rabar. What's in the sauce Rabar? Pickle, mustard, carrot. Bon appétit. If you're in Quebec, this is the best pork you can get your hands on. La Ferme Beau Rivage. And the age, the 30 days age on the pork makes it so good. Sweet, fatty, delicious. And then you get a nice little pickly from the carrots and the pickles, which brings nice acidity to the dish to cut down on that fattiness. It's the perfect dish. Beautiful, beautiful. Where's my fork? I got another one. Beautiful, thank you. Cheers. And I'm drunk. <laughs> and... Oh, ho, 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 ho. whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Mon Dieu, Seigneur. Et voilà. Je me sens comme un pirate, man. <laughs> Mon Dieu, man. Crêpe suzette. Pineapple, crêpe suzette, flambé with the rum rosemont. Ah, non. Ça, c'est... Oh, oh, where's that? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Oh, oh, Billy! And that's the last course. The last course. Not the least, the last course. All right, let's try this thing. Woo! Wow! Was that good or what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was our first restaurant review for Tasting Time. Thanks a lot to Dave and the whole team at Bar Cineny. This was an amazing dinner. Everything was good. The wine pairing was on point. The food was on point. Always a good time here. You guys should try it out. See you next time. Eat your grape. <laughs> <laughs>